morning, good people. It's draft day, the moment we've all been waiting for, especially if you are a Cowboys fan, because this is the only method of building our team right now, which is draft and develop. All right. I know it's boring, but this is one of my favorite times of the year because some of these young some of these young athletes are gonna change their lives forever. You know what I'm saying? Some of these young athletes, we're gonna watch them grow from young men to grown men. We're going to watch them hone in on their skills and become, uh, some of them will be all pros. Some of them will be pro bowlers. Some of them will, will fizzle out. But the one thing that we ha we do know is that games have to be played. And that's the only way in order to, to be able to tell whether or not, you know, a guy panned out as a draft pick. So the, the one rule of thumb that you want to think of is, you know, you give them three years at least. But what I'm here to talk about are the, top 10 targets for number 24 for the Dallas Cowboys tonight and some of these targets will be trade back targets depending on if a couple of them are still on the board and, and Dallas feels like they can get value and maybe get a mid-round pick back but I'm just here to tell you I don't expect them to trade back just because that's been a hot topic issue can the Cowboys trade back and get that pick back and other teams watch media as well you know and also you know, another hot topic thing, too, is the Cowboys. I say hot topic because that's my daughter's uh, cheer gym. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, pun intended. But another thing is that offensive line is something that they're going with in this round. You know, other teams watch media. Other teams watch our channels. Other teams watch the draft show that the Dallas Cowboys provide. So um, everybody in the world knows that Dallas, the Dallas Cowboys are depleted at the line position. So um, keep that in mind. Teams might trade up in front of them if there's a lineman that they really want or something of that nature, or if they feel like Dallas is going to take this type of person. So what we have to realize is things aren't going to go exactly how we want them to go tonight, or there's a good chance that they won't. If they do, gives us a, a it gives us a, a you know what I'm saying a, a high for the moment. But you know I'm just here to tell y'all as a Dallas Cowboys fan who's been through this a lot, I've had a lot more go against what I want than you know go exactly how I, I planned out. So don't get mad <laughs> at the process. And I'm saying that now, then my reaction video will probably be a terrible one. Y'all know me. I'm 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 known for my draft day meltdown. I'm known for it. So, uh, but here's my top ten players. We got Talise Fuaga out of Oregon State. Uh, they're red hot on the prospect. If he somehow falls down the board, if a lot of teams view him as a guard and and don't view him as a tackle, then I I that's the only way I can see him really falling down the board. To me, he's a top fifteen talent. Um, he has, to me, I feel like he's the number one offensive lineman in the draft, but that's just me. That's just my bias because I love his physicality. Joe Alt might be better technically, but as far as technicality and uh, uh, strength and, and physicality and finishing, I think Fuaga is the class of the draft. Uh, number two is Graham Barton. I think that they're red hot on Graham Barton because of position flex. Um, personally, I don't. I'm not as high on Graham Barton as everybody else is. I think he's a good prospect. I'd be okay with it. That's not a, a pick that I'd be, you know, jumping up and down for, but I do believe that he has Dallas Cowboys written all over him for what they want and, and how they can market him. So I'm I'm just going to say Graham Barton. You know, I said that three weeks ago. I felt like Graham Barton is their number one. I still think he's their number one. Um, but if Fuaga, for whatever reason, they've shown a, a lot of interest as well. I, we all know he's the better prospect, but Grant Barton, number two, Troy Fontenu out of, out of Washington, a lot of, uh, they, they, they've, they've shown a lot of love his way as well. And I think he might be the most fluid out of all of the linemen, in my opinion, as far as his athleticism, his technique. Um, I love his game, man. I, I would do backflips for, for Troy. I love Troy a lot better than I like Graham. But I, if I know the Cowboys, I know Graham is above Troy on their board. Um, Jackson Powers Johnson, number four. Dallas can build from the interior out. Uh, he's the best center in the draft. Um, he has the best film in the draft for center. Uh, I think I think you got to go with your center there if, if all else fails, if you don't have any of those three that I just named. Uh, Brian Thomas Jr., receiver out of LSU. They met with him at the combine. I mean, his workout speaks for itself. His take speaks for itself. Um, if they can't get the lineman that they want, we know Mike McCarthy likes to sling the ball. And I think that he could be a good fit for Dallas. I think Mike McCarthy would know exactly how to use him. 
Number six, Derek, uh, no, I'm sorry. Number six, Tyler Guyton out of Oklahoma. I know a lot of my Cowboys counterparts are against Tyler Guyton. Um, I personally don't think Tyler Guyton is a win now pick. I think that that's a pick for the future. And I think that you'll know everything you need to know about Dak, Dak Prescott's situation by, by them picking Tyler Guyton. That's, that's just me. Um, and if it does happen, I'll explain that after the draft. But I don't think Tyler Guyton is a win now pick. I think that that's a future pick. I think that he's going to need a lot of development, um, which is OK, because I think his pedigree is OK. But um, Vach brought up something uh, when, when me and him were, were, were talking back and forth on his show. Tyler Guyton's finishing. He doesn't have the finishing. And that's the part of pedigree that I don't think says win now. He, he he's he's definitely a, a good prospect, a solid prospect, but for what the Cowboys need, I don't think Tyler Guyton comes in and is an impact player. Well, we need an impact player from day one right now. Byron Murphy's number eight. Byron Murphy slides down the board. I just don't think that defensive tackle is a priority in round one. Uh, but Byron Murphy, the pedigree of the player, and the player, if he falls down the board, I think you have to consider it. I think you have to think about it. And I think if if he's your best player on the board, you have to take him. I mean, it's not like it's not a need, but you have to consider it. The guys that I have above it, I mean, not Tyler Guyton. I'm I'm taking Byron Murphy over Tyler Guyton. Um, I probably would take I probably would take Byron Murphy uh, over. A lot of these guys, I probably, I probably would, but knowing the Cowboys and knowing that how they've been building their board, I think they've been preparing for Byron to possibly fall, but I don't think they expect it, but I do think that he's part of the plan. Number nine, you got, you guys have to prepare for this. I, I know you guys don't want this. I know a lot of guys don't want it. Me, if they made the pick, I would say you got balls and I do think it helps right now. I think it says we're now. But Peyton Wilson out of NC State, and I get it, it is reminiscent of LVE. It's damn near the same thing, but this guy's better than LVE was at the time. Peyton Wilson, it, 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 you can argue between him and Edron Cooper as the best linebackers in the draft, but I think Peyton Wilson, getting him with Zim and, and, and with the staff, I think it says win now. But Mike McCarthy might want to fight back on that because Mike McCarthy, just like Dak Prescott, just like CeeDee Lamb, just like Michael Parsons, back is against the wall. And number 10, I got to hold that hope, but I know they love him. And it just depends on how they feel about Jonathan Brooks and if Jonathan Brooks can fall back to 56. I don't think a running back, I don't think Jonathan Brooks, or I don't think Trey Benson, who's my number 10, I don't think they make it to 56. So if all else fails and people get their prospects, because remember, teams draft as well. Teams have their processes as well. Teams fall in love with these guys as well. If you can't trade back and you're stuck at 24, I think Trey Benson has a really good shot. I think Peyton Wilson, they have a really good shot of being selected at 24 if they can't find a partner and if they can't find a lineman of their choosing in, 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 in their first round grades. So let me know what you guys think, man. I'm excited. It's draft day. Uh, my, my, my baby girl is going to perform out here in Tampa, Florida. The, I don't know what it is. In the DMV, the sun don't hit the same way as it hit in Florida. But let me know what y'all think, man. Excited to hear from y'all. Y'all know that I'm going to be doing my reaction videos and stuff all day. So let's get it, man. Have a good effing morning. Peace.